Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Normally we have chapel, but since we're not able to do that, I wanted to make sure and have my helpers uh, help uh, me with singing the We Are In God's House Today song. We always start off chapel that way. So let's go ahead and we're going to sing together We Are In God's House Today. You guys ready? Yep. All right, here we go. We are in God's house today. today in the name of God the Father, and in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone, it's so great to see you. Um, welcome to our uh, virtual chapel. I wanted to just uh, say I hope that you're doing well. I hope that all the homeschooling is continuing to go well, and I miss seeing you in chapel. So today I wanted to give you a special message um, there are times when I like to do something special uh, to let my wife know how much I love her and I care for her. So sometimes I get her things. Um, what I have with me today is a little gift. And so sometimes I like to get her something special. And as you guys may know, uh, Mother's Day is coming up this uh, Sunday. And it's a great opportunity where we can say how much we love our moms and how much we care for them. So I encourage you guys this week to tell your moms how much you love them and you care for them. And flowers is a great way to do that, or even maybe a simple card you could make your moms to let them know just how much you're thinking of them and how much they mean to you. And so, uh, but this week I wanted to talk to you guys about a wonderful Bible verse um, about Jesus. And it, it comes from Mark chapter one. And it says that evening, this is Mark chapter one, verses 32. It says that evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon possessed. The whole town gathered at the door and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. You see, Jesus was always so kind and helpful to people he met. One day he was in the home of someone named Simon Peter. You may have heard of Peter. And Peter's mother-in-law was very sick. She was in bed and she had this really bad fever. Well, Jesus went into the room where she was and he took her by the hand and he helped her out of bed. When Jesus touched her, the fever left her immediately. That Later that evening, people brought everyone who was sick and those who were demon-possessed so that Jesus could heal them. And the Bible says, that the whole town was gathered around outside the door. Jesus healed the sick and he drove out evil spirits. He showed his love by caring for those who need his healing touch. So what I want you guys to do is to make sure that you tell your moms and people around you how much you love them and how much they mean to you and that you care for them. Remember that you can do that even just a simple, I love you or I'm thinking about you or how are you doing? What a, what a great way that we can show how much we love people just like Jesus did. And I'm gonna go ahead and close now in a word of prayer, if you guys wouldn't mind repeating after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for caring for us. We love you, amen. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a happy Mother's Day. Remember that Jesus loves you and that he's always with you. Bye.